Hi guys, Logan here with another video. Today, I got something cool to show you. These are the 2021 Flaming Rotting Pumpkins that were sold exclusively at Home Depot. And even more, they were exclusively sold in stores, which made them pretty, uh, pretty scarce, actually. Uh, these are the third and fourth installments in the Flaming Rotten, Rotting Pumpkin series that Techie has been doing for Home Depot. The other ones are a smiling and a frowning, like, kind of just traditional looking rotting pumpkin that are, that also have these really cool looking flame lights. My dog's in here reviewing with me. These two uh, are a little different from the original ones as they're a bit more stylized and scary. The other two really didn't have like an, like, well, I mean, they were ominous, but they weren't like outwardly scary. Uh, they just, I don't know, look like an actual rotten pumpkin. You know, like when your pumpkin's kind of deflating and it's collapsing in on itself, that's what they look like. You know, and it was it was a really cool effect, and it looked nice, and with the flame light in them, they looked really cool. I liked them a lot. So these are no different uh, than those. They just have more of a creepy face, and they have like looks like pumpkin guts, kind of stringing down from their mouths, which the original two do not. And from what I understand, coming from my friend Reed. Um, they're, I think he said they're bigger than, or they're taller at least, than the original two. So that's definitely kind of a plus. They have a timer as well. I don't know how long they go for, but they do have, like, they have an automatic timer function, which is really neat. So they won't drain their batteries. Because I know, like, my, uh, Flaming Scarecrow has an issue with just sucking up his batteries. So... Yeah. So let's start with this one right here. This is my favorite one out of the two with the more kind of unique gourd shape to him. And he has kind of a more creepy frown. The, uh, the sculpt they gave him a very textured sculpt. And then they kind of went in with like a green and a black wash, which I feel like was pretty effective. You can see kind of the uneven cuts on the eyes and the mouth which is really cool and the stems are painted really well too and there's kind of the back again more of that texture and it does look like it's rotten and just disgusting really cool really really cool i like that this one's more black and this one has more green in it so here's this one this is the kind of the bigger one. This is more of a traditional uh, pumpkin shape. It has more like cuts in it. As you can see, the paint didn't really stick in them as well, but he's got more cuts. And then he's got more of a green stain, like more kind of a moldy, mossy look to him and more rough like bits in him. He has more of a rough texture. And then this one does, as you can see. The paint definitely didn't stick in as well as this one did. You can kind of tell. I think they used two different colors to give him a bit of a contrast. Which, I mean, it still looks cool. So I will still give him credit. And then he does have that really well painted stem. What I like about these is just the simple fact that they don't make any noise. They just light up and look really cool, like on your porch or sitting in your window or wherever you want to put them. I do like stuff like that, um, especially where these are going to go. These are going to go with my Flaming Scarecrow. I have two other Flaming Pumpkins. They're not like these, but they are they're still cool nonetheless. I have a big uh, Jimmy one that I got at Michael's. It was damaged and I went and fixed it. And then I have uh, a Pan-Asian one that I got from Kroger that 
is pretty cool looking. It's really bright orange. But they're not, again, neither one of them are rotten, like all rotten and gross looking. I do believe Pan Asian did do some f rotting flaming pumpkins. I think Magic Power did a rot. I know Magic Power did a rotten pumpkin last year. There were a lot of pumpkins last year. So my biggest gripe was that they never had these online, which just pissed me off because I really wanted them. And the nearest Home Depot to me is like about an hour away and I can't really go all the time. And for whatever reason, they only give Home Depots one Halloween shipment for the entire season, which I feel like is just them shooting themselves in the foot because they have such a hyped up line and they hype up the fuck out of their line. And then they go in and they give them one shipment. By Halloween, not even by Halloween, by September, they are bare. And it's ridiculous. Honestly, like, with lines that are, like, with a product line, like the Rotten Patch, which is what these pumpkins are from, cleaned out. Not a single pumpkin was left. Because I have a pumpkin patch, so I like pumpkins. And I was looking for these, and I was looking for the burlap-looking uh, pumpkins, because I thought they were so neat. Um, they weren't there, and I was really annoyed, and I asked... So if they were getting any more stuff, they said, nope, this is all we got for the entire year. Sorry. They advertised these online. They advertised all the pumpkins online. And they never stocked them. Just the animatronics. Which I feel like is a kind of a slap in the face to the people who really want to get these. Because the scalpers, which was such a big issue last season, going to the store buy everything out so no one else can get them and then sell them and they know that home depot only gets one shipment for the season which again with a line this hyped up they need to have supplements and more shipments like they need it needs to be more than one shipment like and I, and i like i don't know if anyone else agrees but it's just you can't just do a one and done when you hype up your line that much, that much, and you become that popular. I mean, you're you're now sitting with Spirit and the most popular Halloween selling retailers, though you're not like a Halloween store, but now you're being known for your Halloween collections. And Spirit doesn't do a one and done shipment, so it's like neither should you. They never stock these online, and it, it just it irked me. I wanted these so bad and could never get them. And that really that really actually upset me. I couldn't even get the original two. I wanted to get all four. Um, and I have another one coming in. It's I think it's the smiling one. So now I'm just need to get the frowning one. Um, I think the frowning one was sold elsewhere. I think it was sold at Menards. I have a Lowe's and a Menards near me. And for whatever reason, not a Home Depot, which is so weird. I would think I would have, you'd think I'd have a Home Depot nearby, but no. It's Lowe's and Menards. Everything but a Home Depot, which sucks, because I actually prefer Home Depot in general. Um, I, used, I used to think they usually have better customer service, and the vibe of the store I just prefer overall. And their Halloween decor, I like more. So, I don't know, that's just me. But, again, I just, I was not thrilled last season that they only had one shipment, and then you couldn't buy the display animatronics. Like, there's nothing there. Like, because I wanted to buy um, an Inferno Reaper, too. And he was on display. And I asked, hey, can I buy that Inferno Reaper? And like, we can't sell that until, like, mid-October. Because that's, that's our only one. And I'm like, well, someone right next door to the Spirit and bought Grimm instead. Which is why not. Which is why I have Grimm. Had I gotten Inferno, I wouldn't have gotten Grimm. But I got Grimm, so. <laughs> that's, that's the story of how I got my Grimm. Because Home Depot uh, screwed me over. I, I went to another store and same same story. In fact, in fact, they had nothing left. They sold their displays and everything. So I think really an employee was trying to keep that Inferno Reaper. But yeah. I hope this year 
with the new pumpkins. I've seen all the new pumpkins, and I like them all, and I want to get them. I've seen the new flaming pumpkin, and it is really cool. It's really unique and different. I hope they stock them online. Home Depot, stock your stuff online. Don't be dumb. Don't, don't just not, for whatever reason. Stock your stuff online. Um, because I'm going to buy them. <laughs> I want to get more unique jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins for my pumpkin patches here. My goal is to grow it and just get cooler stuff in it. And these techie pumpkins. And techie, too. I don't... I, I guess, like, I know they, they like to watch these videos. Keep dishing these out. Dude, I am eating these up. These are so cool. Even when I went to Transworld and saw the Flaming Skull, the Flaming Rotting Skull, dude, that was so dope. Though, I mean, I prefer the pumpkins, but the skull was also really cool. Uh, if I can give, like, one, like, suggestion or, like, idea, do another one of these and make it more moldy and make it a mister. That'd be really cool, too. I'd buy that. I like it te I like Techies Pumpkins. Uh, in general, and I like the flaming ones because they look, they're, they're gonna look stellar with flaming scarecrow, I think, because he has the same light and everything. And also, again, the flame lights in these look really nice. I like how they look. They, they just, I don't know, they look nice. I mean, I have three different companies I have Pain Asian, Jimmy, and Techie flaming pumpkins, and I think these look the best. Out of the three, I just think the flames look more natural and move a lot smoother. So, and maybe I should do a video comparing all three. I would love to do that sometime. So if that interests you guys, let me know down below. And I will definitely do a video uh, comparing them because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> but yeah, that's these two. I'll do a review of the other pumpkins as they come in and when I get the uh, the frowning one. I want to get all of them. Um, hopefully there's more flaming pumpkins. Uh, I hope they're not just a Home Depot exclusive because I want to see more people get them and just so I have an excuse to get more of these really cool pumpkins. And yeah, that's what off me. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of the Home Depot flaming pumpkins? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Uh, did you also have a pretty hard time getting your hands on these too? And did you think that it was pretty annoying? That they never stocked these online. Yeah. That's all from you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.